Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Funny man here back on the Rich Eisen Show. The Tom Papa Tour. You can check out tickets and a full tour date visit list at TomPapa.com. West Nyack, New York. We'll be fortunate enough to get this man performing his stylings, if you will, at Levity <laughs> Live this weekend. And then uh, Cleveland, Ohio in uh, October at Hilarities yeah. in Cleveland, Ohio. Tom Papa here on the Rich Eisen Show. Good to see you, Tom. Good to see you. How's, How's it going? going? Good. Good. Let's hope that's not an ironic... Uh, an ironic word for what happens to the Cavs for the good folks in Cleveland over the next couple of games. I'm actually rolling in there uh, July 9th to record my uh, next uh, special, ah. stand-up special. And uh, that is really on the heels of whatever's going to happen over this next week. Over the next couple of, well, yeah. actually, so here's here's where it's going to go. There's game six in Quicken Loans Arena. Right. Then there is your live performance right. in Cleveland, right? Right. And then there's the GOP convention at Quicken Loans Arena. <laughs> yeah. Have this, I missed anything right This here? is quite a summer for Cleveland. They are really, <laughs> they can take it, though. That's why I'm doing my special there. These are hard people. These are Hardcore. tough. I'm actually, like, when they won last night, I actually felt worse for them than if they just lost it out there. Like, you could just lose it, and all right, fine, we just but, go back to our lives. It's like the, the yeah. pressure going back into their building. It, it prolongs the misery, oh. is what you think? Or for maybe... some reason, I've been performing there for years, and mm -hmm. for some reason, I'm always there at the beginning of football season. <laughs> and just the conflict in these people's beings, just walking around with hope and despair, it's just a mix. Their hope bucket gets filled up every year. Yeah. It, it never, but it, you gotta respect that. I love it, I, that's why I love the city. It's just like this, they're just, they're great people and it's, it's almost like a championship might ruin them. <laughs> See, the interesting thing is that last, you were here right at this point last year, when yeah. it was Cavs Warriors last year, right. and our poll question involved Matthew Della Vadova being a dirty player. We right. had, we came up with like what, nicknames for a Matt Dove on the floor. <laughs> right. Now that. our poll question today is, is Draymond Green a dirty player? Yeah. And now the Cavs and the Warriors are, are playing again. Again. It's, it's like a Groundhog Day situation. Yeah. Between I, all of us here. I know. It's, it, it just makes me too nervous for my friends in Cleveland. So let me let me ask you these questions here, because you uh, sat down, you heard our sort of semi-argument with the Chris Command Center about children's step-ups and graduations, and you took umbrage to their stance on that, correct? Oh, yeah. I mean, I love these guys, but they're morons. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please get that as a drop from Tom Papa? <laughs> please, from now on, Mike Del Tufo. Eighth grade graduation... You have, there's no, there's no, of course you go home. Certainly if you have your own Learjet and you're playing in the United States Open, you got a gajillion dollars, you yeah, go home. Yeah, easy breezy, you gotta go. You but you shouldn't be obligated to have to go home. Well, School shouldn't be throwing, eighth grade's a little different in this, but if she Eighth grade is the thing. Seventh to eighth? No, he wouldn't have flown home. There would be no ceremony, first of all, going sixth to seventh. This is eighth grade going to high school. Yeah. I it's a know. big thing. I don't, I've he's never gotta, heard He's of, gotta go, and, I, and it's not, it's, it's not like the, anyone's putting other pressure. It's his kid that's going to put pressure. I miss the Nutcracker this. My daughter's a ballerina. She's in the Nutcracker this year. You missed it. I missed it because I was, I was working. I was on the road. I missed the Nutcracker. She won't stop talking about it. It's going to be in my eulogy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, he was a good guy, but missed the, missed nutcrack the Nutcracker. In but I still loved him. <laughs> they make you pay. You gotta go. Well, this is from somebody who whose Instagram account is filled with pictures of a three-month-old child, over yeah, and over I just again. Had my first child, but I and just, as you know, oh, and as here you know, it comes. Choo choo. I feel like it's the school putting the parents in a bad situation, and it's the trophy culture of everyone gets a trophy, everyone gets to celebrate at the end of third grade. Oh, you're so confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's, confusing. it's all gonna happen, right? It's just all gonna. I was the same way. It's just okay. gonna. It's just gonna come steamroll you, and you are going to be sitting in some awful arena, yeah, with no back, just sitting there with flowers on your lap, just waiting to go. It's, yeah. it's gonna just take it's you some over. Awful arena. It's just <laughs> no. gonna take you over. So it's back pain. There's heartache. But it's all about because you you know you're a good parent. I've got Tom Papa. Come to Papa is his podcast and Sirius XM show. Your next live show is going to be at the Underground, the Village Underground in New York City. Yeah. In just a couple of weeks, man. That's a yeah. good spot. That's pretty good stuff. There that's a great York. one. That's a that's I love doing those live shows. It's more it's like a Prairie Home Companion with comedians. That's a, I'm I'm looking forward to hearing all that. Come to PapaLive.com. Also available on iTunes. Now, what did you think about my Curb Your Enthusiasm idea? Because I know you 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 get this sense of humor. You're locked in on this. You're good yeah. friends with the uh, with Jerry as well. Yeah. Um, so 
where you go up to somebody in the bathroom, you go into a bathroom, somebody is on the other side of the bathroom stall doing his considerable business, <laughs> yeah. sneezes, do you say God bless you? Do you break that wall? No, of the stall. I think it's a great. I think it's a great idea for an episode. Excellent. I think it's great. Thank you. You don't know who's coming out of there. Okay. You, it could be somebody. I think it's all. It's all the makings of a great curb. In real life, you're in there. You you didn't walk in with your buddy. You don't know if it's your buddy. You don't just know. Don't know. It's just any human being. You do not say a word. But it is normally like if there wasn't a bathroom stall wall. If mm -hmm. you sneezed, I'd look you right in the eye and go, God bless you. That's mm -hmm. it's that's politeness. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But that's. But now you, you've gone into, this is hell. This, is, you, this isn't where normal rules apply. This is the toilet. This is what bothers, this is what confuses me about the whole mm. bathroom conflict now going on, mm. the transgender mix up. It's just like, you know, no one is hanging out in these bathrooms. No, they are the worst. worst you get, get Everyone's out of in and out. There could be a woman, there could be an elephant, it could be an ostrich. I, I'm not gonna notice, they are in and out. And I, no one's hanging out in the bathroom. Can we take a quick phone call here? I've got Stephen in Portland, Oregon. You're on the air with Tom Papa here on The Rich Eisen Show. Stephen, you there? Hey, Rich. Yeah, you're on with Tom too. Great, hey, so I, uh, I have a great uh, anecdote to share. Sure. I, um, was a person who threw a lot of parties during Sundance. Mm -hmm. And um, we had big events. We've got uh, Acid Kutcher. We've got Demi Moore. Wow. I've got the lead singer for um, a band called uh, Matchbox 20. Okay. So we have a VIP bathroom. And we go in, and I turn around, and the lead singer, Rob Thomas, we're sitting there talking to each other. And I said, love your music. You guys having a good time? He goes, yeah, I'm having a great time, man. You guys are throwing a great party. Everything, and I go up to the number one spot yes. to take a boys' break, yes. and he keeps talking to me. Mm. I'm like, okay, dude, there's at some point you gotta just like, you know, you know, do you say, hey, listen, I'm doing my duty, or do you just keep talking to the guy? And it was, it's the greatest anecdote I share with all my friends. Interesting, I go, I interesting. I, I think Rob Thomas, and he's sitting there going, I hey, you know, blah blah, and I'm like, okay, hey, you know, mm. guess what? I got to take care of my business. Stephen, so and I, I, I like it. So the question is, is the the process of going number one a conversation ender? Tom? Yeah. I once uh, was on the Conan O'Brien show uh, when he was back in New York, and Paul Giamatti was, we were both heading towards the bathroom at the same time. Yes. And I was going to do an animated film with him, and we're talking, and the door opens. We're now in the men's room, and I was like, do you stop talking or do you keep talking? What happens? I kept talking. I haven't seen him since. <laughs> <laughs> True story. These are, I mean, that's a, that's a modern day fable. It's, it's, right there. <laughs> it's high There's risk in there. Do you have like bathroom bits you'll do if you are in there with a friend? Like if you go in with a buddy, like yeah. you're at the movies or whatever, like yeah. the ball game and you go in and it's just the two of you. Like people have bathroom bits. Like if I'm at the urinal, I'll just, I'll just yell out, Oh, the burning. <laughs> Which is fine if it's your friend, yeah. but there's has been t there has been a time when I did that and thinking my friend was in the stall and some <laughs> businessman just walked out. <laughs> oh, the burning. There was one time I did a, uh, real quick, a sports center commercial um, <laughs> where Stuart Scott was washing his hands. Yeah. And then there were three stalls. <laughs> One, you hear a flush, I walk out. Right. Next time you hear a flush, a jockey walks out. A third time you hear a flush, and a horse walks past. <laughs> and great. Stuart just wordlessly just, you know, shook his head and continued washing his hands. Right. And they insisted, just for the timing of the 30-second spot, that I would have to walk out of the stall and leave. And I'm like, you've got to let me wash my hands. You know, I have a right. reputation. Just like have the water running and I'll just run through it and I'll walk out. I won't, you know, no, for the sake, sake I'm like, unbelievable, I gotta do this commercial. Within three months of it being on the air, I'm at the World Series, somebody screams out, hey, Eisen, you're a pig, wash your hands when you go to the can. <laughs> of course it was Yankee Stadium. Of course. You know what I mean? Yeah, observant <laughs> and cutting. Tom Papa on Twitter, at Tom Papa on Twitter. Go check out TomPapa.com, and of course the podcast and Sirius XM show, Come to Papa. Thanks for coming back. Always here, great, Tom. love coming here. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.